This is Golden TV Live, and of course, we caught up with the Deputy Inspector General for Operations of the Liberian National Police, Colonel Mave Sako, is here with us uh, in Bonjama City, Lofa County. Remember, uh, media practitioners uh, about this time visiting National Elections Commission, tally centers, and other precincts to uh, get total numbers of uh, votes obtained and provisional results coming up. Security-wise, how's the situation like in the county uh, since the pre electoral process now we're running the post uh, there have been mixed views amongst the citizenry in the county but the media is here a team of liberian journalists konosako welcome to the media yeah over there gentlemen thank you for having me it's good to have you i see you in vanjama yeah, sure. let's get an update about the security deployment and status of lofa county okay first thing i want to say thank you to the peace loving people of lofa county that have uh, coordinated and uh, collaborated with the Lavinia National Police and other members of the Joint Security in making sure we maintain uh, peace within the county. And also to the full SD as well, you gotta help us in so many ways in putting our information to the public, especially about non violent during our electoral uh, processes. So we want to say thank you to the citizens, to the Joint Security and that of the full SD. What have you got up from your men so far? So far, I uh, have been here for uh, almost 72 hours. Uh, we have a minor situation that was talking about the joint security. But so far, the, the, the count have been very peaceful, very peaceful. Any arrest has been made so far? Well, uh, we, we made several arrests, but it was a minor situation that we handled. Okay. Where are Not those people? Arrest, uh, any kind of you know, I mean, serious uh, issue as related to the security situation. Where are those who were arrested? Those are current at the police, police uh, headquarters here in uh, Vandima. Those are just situations where we, people are interested that we have to ask a question. But all in that, it's been very minor. Very manner. So, uh, but I say very manner. What are some of the things that people were arrested for? Well, the issue is that especially when people start to actually make a uh, statement that only man a piece of, the, of, of, of this country, we only obligated to, to, to contain that. Because we cannot actually promote any other of violence. Let me say something. You see, the local county by election is very significant. Reason being is that we're using this as well as a pilot program for 2023. So people have complained that our security, security presence is very heavy in the county. It's important. Why you did huge deployment? I would consider it to be huge deployment. One thing I don't understand, Obel, Nova County is one of the fourth most populated county in the country, right? And looking at that, we cannot come here and deploy 100 or 200 men, okay? When something goes wrong, right? When all the money in the county, what happens? People stay blame Lavin National Police. So we are under obligation to protect Lavin property, and we did just that. To deploy to every major counties, in the counties or city, in making sure people, people will remain very peaceful. Well, one, of the, important. one of the things I've been mean, asked about deployment, how many security men do you have here? Well, for security reasons, I cannot tell you that, but one thing I can tell you that. Most all the, the mayor or uh, city have been uh, covered fully. But how long? I'm coming. Mm -hmm. the uh, police support unit, the ERU, and the, and the patrol. And also, as I said, all those security institutes have also been helping us as well. Like I'm, the LISD, and fire service. I'm concerned about the border areas. There were also deployment. What have you gathered from there so far? Well, so far, information is that people are trying to cross the border, come in to, to actually get involved in our electoral process. Okay, and we want an obligation to actually stop that. We got to protect our democracy. Did yeah, you I stop people from coming from yeah, neighboring yeah, countries? Yeah, 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 yeah. The process is not over until results are released and accepted. Are you guys going to be deployed up to that time? The issue is that doing our security hey, or, or, or strategy, right? We got three phases, right? We have pre, we got doing, and we got post. Right. We are done with the pre, the doing, and now we are at the post phase, right? So we continue to have our men here until we can make sure that the county is actually calm to the extent that we have to withdraw them. During the uh, after election, which is the post, mm -hmm. um, politicians have started claiming victory already. The Unity Party, the CDC, and other independent candidates. Someone could think this could provoke violence. Are you talking to candidates in any direction? Where we are, we are starting engagement. We got something called community policing, right? Even post election, we have to speak to the candidates and say, look, until next you come up with a final, how do you say, uh, results. results, you have to remain calm and actually make sure you're, you're safe. Even at this point, we are even also advised the politicians not to come to the street to actually uh, uh, celebrate until next have given uh, the, the future. A result of the election. How are you going to do that? Because we see people flying the streets with motorbikes yeah, celebrating. On the, on the constitutional freedom of movement, right? 
they are not causing any problem. You've been around the centers or uh, different centers, right? People are very people and calm. We cannot stop people from moving through it. But what you can do when there's any out of bounds or other obligations to use the appropriate means to control the situation. So what's the lesson learned from this election for the people? Look, you really see the guys from the court area after I told you. We are not here to intimidate our people, we are here to make sure that love and property are protected. We are being very that very So we're going to use this now to follow up with for 20 And what we have done, from the job security perspective, it has worked very well, and we're going to do the same thing going forward. Good. Uh, other folks are following uh, the people in this county as the sorting process is going on. National Elections Commission is yet to announce official results. What have you to say? To well, well, what I want to say is that um, so far the citizens of this county they have actually cooperated and collaborated with the Joint Security. We need to continue to work together. Labor is all that we have. In order to actually maintain the peace and stability of this country, every citizen within the country has shared responsibility in helping us. And they have done that. Even during the result of the election, we want to say this to them. We have remained peaceful, we have to continue to remain peaceful. But one thing we will not allow any other of our nation. Anyone that will get involved in any reckless out of violence will take their proper action to continue to do But so far, as I said, the people have been very peaceful. We must congratulate them for that. Let me ask you this question. It's about the upkeep of your men on the ground. How has it been? We've been getting allegations that patrol officers were not motivated, unlike the police support unit and that of the uh, ERU, the emergency response unit. Look, look, let me say something. Everywhere around the world, yeah, even when I'm serving the US military, everything will never be 100%. The reason why you do something like after action review, AAR, right? You actually learn to you get to know what you did right, what you did wrong, okay? People will have to issue, and at the action, after action review, will after that judge situation. The reason why I said this is a pilot program for what we want to do come 2023. So if any of our officers have any issue, I think the owner of the gate will bring the attention of administration, we will handle it. But so far, I want to say thank you to the guard men and women of the Joint Security that work very well. That shows that in the absence of the we have the men to protect the peace of this country. Uh, just talking about the number of men that you have, this is a power project, like you said, for you and the head of operations. And uh, you talk well, about the case uh, uh, to deploy more men. Uh, are you uh, are able to contain uh, the number of uh, registered voters in, like you, I'm um, from the tree, from looking at what you just said about being, being used to be used in case that it's new? Where are we going to start first? We're going to start recruitment first and then. Secondly, as I said, it is not just the effort for all of them are very scared. So now we have the fire service, we have LIS, we have DA, they are also part of the process. So but I can say this, I can say this for free that uh, we have the capacity, we have the manpower to actually handle every and any other situation of the country. But again, it left with the citizens to work with us. We saw the we saw the armed forces of Liberia patrol the streets with uh, Moa. Uh, why? Is it, 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 is it also part of the joint security effort? Let me tell you why it is. What is it? APC, armor personnel carrier, is there with the tank officers. Look at the situation here. Look, we, it, it is a joint security effort, okay? If you actually look at the function of the, the AFL, they are responsible for external aggression, right? Did we actually need the AFL? They are responsible for external aggression, not what? We have to do with uh, the citizen engagement. The reason why we have the police and other members of the Johnson Gate, we are responsible for civil law enforcement. Uh, enforcement. The AFL is always on standby just in case there is a situation where the Johnson Gate, the police to be specific, cannot contain that situation. The president can be advised to actually give an instruction to uh, establish a state emergency and deploy the AFL. So they have to be on standby. They are on standby for just in case we cannot maintain the peace to come in to, to help us. That's it. It will happen everywhere around the world. For example, the, the, the insurrection in, uh, in Washington, this is what happened. After the police failed to maintain peace, what happened? The national guard moved in, right? They have the budget the effort. It happened everywhere around the world. You make, it's international you, best practice. Uh, you make mention of uh, recruitment of police officers. When is that going to be? And how many persons are you are uh, thinking about recruiting? Well, I can give the specific national... number and uh, the specific date, but I can tell you very soon. Right. Very soon in line with the elections. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, thank, thank you, thank you for talking to yeah, us. Thank you for having me, Thank you so much for actually putting your personal information to the public. Okay. But again, as I said, the citizens have to work with us. Post election, we currently next, it's currently announcing the results of the election. If you have any issue, use the legal means. Any out of violence will not continue that. We're not as, as, as accept that at all. We will make sure we maintain the people in the county. As I said, that's why they have been very peaceful. All people might try to use. 
all of us to honor man in peace, but we will make sure that we continue that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Colonel Marvin Sacco of the Liberia National Police 102, joining us here live from Lofa County, giving us updates security-wise about how the situation like and cautioning politicians to uh, remain in the confines of the law. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Obed Jiba. We'll stay in Fort Yard. That's uh, Vonjama City in Lofa County. Thanks so much for joining us. We're going to be uh, hopefully coming up live very shortly as we hope to talk to some of the politicians as well. Thank you so much.